I'm Paul Carroll. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Insurance Thought Leadership, and I'm talking with Mary Rose Reeston, who is the Founder and Chief Science Officer of Emerge Diagnostics. Why don't we start by just having you tell us a little bit about the trajectory that got you through all the testing to the technology that you now have. Well, thank you. Um, I developed with uh, Phil Reeston a diagnostic tool to better help serve people to get correct diagnosis for soft tissue injury. Before that time, there's no accurate way to really look at what a soft tissue injury was and diagnose it. And soft tissue injuries, as you know, they're the leading cost drivers in private medicine, workers' comp. And they're, they're not just your neck sprain or back strain. They could be repetitive stress injuries, cumulative trauma, clinical significance of dyspathology, thoracic outlet syndrome, rotator cuff tear, headaches. So it presents a huge problem. So we developed a technology, got it FDA registered, and it's significant because the technology can not only age and diagnose soft tissue injury, it can make site-specific treatment recommendations, um, it can look at compliance, malingering, and pain, and it can really do baseline testing. So our philosophy is to make it a win, a win for physicians, a win for doctors, and most importantly, a win for people and injured workers by preventing soft tissue injuries and preventing unnecessary medical care and providing the best care possible. And from what I've seen, this seems to be part of a, a trend. I mean, a, a way of managing costs is by understanding much better how where the worker was before the injury so you know what you need to do in treating the injury. Is that right? Absolutely. We started out doing a lot of post-accident EFA testing. There was a workers' compensation claim, and then at some point in time, either early on or later on in the claim, we were able to come in and tell you if they were at MMI and if they needed additional treatment, and that worked very well. But with the law changes of January 1st, 2011 with Medicare, where the federal statutes now and the state workers' compensation state workers' compensation state statutes are really intertwined. It no longer became acceptable for an employer just to accept a claim and try to resolve it quickly. It became very important for an employer to only accept claims that arise out of the course and scope of employment, you know, AOE, COE. So we developed the EFA STM, which is a baseline program that looks at somebody either at the time of hire or your existing workforce, which we can do, and then we have a picture of what they're like before an injury because the law says that you only need to return somebody to pre-injury status, so we can right. define that. So it's a bookend solution. It's a baseline, and then when there's a soft tissue-related injury, the person comes for a comparison, and if there's no change from the baseline or a change in condition, then there should be nothing compensable. Okay. Can you give me an example of a client who's used the technology and the sort of success they've had? Absolutely. Um, one of our early on clients um, was the Gatesway Foundation, and they are a nonprofit uh, association that deals with the developmentally disabled, and their soft tissue injury claims were skyrocketing. It was really hitting hard on their bottom line. And they wanted to provide the best care possible, but they didn't really know what to do. Well. The interesting news is, and it's a fortuitous question, because we just completed a one-year um, analyzation of their claims. We started in April 2013, and prior to us being in, they had about a million dollars in developed soft tissue claims, which was very high. They really had a hard time getting insurance, and they were really having a hard time. They have a hard turnover rate, because they have a lot of medical assistance, nurses, aides. Well, we tracked these claims, and the soft tissue program went April 1st. It was a good April 1st joke, 2013, and the results that we just have for a year later, they have had a 70% reduction in their claims frequency, an 88% reduction in their claims cost, and a 3,000% return on investment. But the most significant thing is that's really well and good, and it helps them comply with the state statutes and the workers' compensation statutes. But they had their first real change. I mean, we've seen some phenomenal experience because when we implement a baseline program, for some reason, the claims go and drop substantially. Um, it's more than the Hawthorne effect. Um, it's just actually providing objective medical evidence. Well, they had their first claim in September of 2013 where a workers, a nurse's aide, had somebody fall on them. 
So they had a compensable event. And this woman was an older individual and she said she had her neck hurt, her back hurt, her shoulder hurt, and she went to our provider doctor. And, and she was an older woman, so it could have been a substantial claim. Right. We did the post loss and compared it to the baseline and found she had substantial pre-existing condition, she had a degenerative change, but the quality of the baseline program doesn't have an exacerbation of a pre-existing it actually shows what's work-related. And she had a change from the baseline that was muscle or soft tissue. Okay. We outlined site-specific treatment. She got two sessions of site-specific treatment, and she said she felt better. She actually went to her employer and thanked them for providing the best care possible. The doctor said it was unbelievable because this could have had a substantial impact. Oh, absolutely. And the carrier said it was phenomenal because it was a win situation for them and prevented costly, unnecessary treatment. And surgery. Great story. Where do you go from here, uh, whether in terms of adoption of the technology or in terms of the technology itself? Well, we're thrilled that we just got FDA registration on our wireless technology, which puts us um, light years ahead of anything else because we have the same strong FDA registration um, in the intended use section. Plus, we have the ability to do what no nobody else can and connect multiple sensors to look at multiple body parts, which allows for better diagnostic tools. Okay. And so we're continuing the story with the, F the EFA baseline program because we really feel that that is the only way to truly get a picture of AOE, COE, and help employers comply with not only the state statutes but the federal statutes. That's great. Well, thank you. <laughs>